if you're still not using the Flux model to generate your images, well, you're kind of missing out. So in today's tutorial, I'll show you how you can run the new Flux model on Comfy UI. Now, if your PC doesn't have the GPU to run heavy applications such as Comfy UI, or maybe you just can't figure out how to set up the entire workflow, don't worry. The system that I'm about to show you doesn't require any local installations. And what's more is that we'll have the entire workflow set up for us. Now, to get started, just go over to MimicPC.com and sign up for an account. For those that are new to Mimic PC, well, this is a cloud-based platform and it allows you as the user to access popular applications like Stable Diffusion, RVC, Face Fusion, Olama, and other open source tools without having to download or install anything to your PC. In short, with Mimic PC, all you need is just one click and you'll have access to all these powerful tools directly from the cloud. Now, let me show you how you can make use of one of their latest additions, that is the Flux model through Comfy UI. So what you need to do is go over to the Comfy UI application. Then next, go ahead and hit get started. This side panel is going to open up. So the first thing you need to do is choose the version that we want to use. Now from the drop down menu, I'm going to choose version three. Next, I'm going to choose the hardware. So from the drop down menu again, you can choose from medium, large and large pro. In my case, I'll choose the large pro for optimum performance. Below that, we have the mission time. So you can choose any amount of time that you want. So basically, this is the amount of time that you want to run the application. If you need to run longer, you can always extend. And if you need to stop earlier, then that is no problem either. You can also check and uncheck the buttons for automatic stop, reminder, and automatic extend. Down here, we also have the storage information. And you can see the amount of storage that you have available and the one that you have used as well. On the very bottom, you can go ahead and hit create and start. Now, this is going to start setting up your workflow and it's going to take a few minutes. As you can see, it can take 30 seconds to two minutes. So we're just going to give this a few minutes for the entire setup to complete. On the right hand side panel, we have the file section. And from here, you can access all the files related to this specific workflow. Next, we have the tutorial section. And from here, you can see all the available tutorials that are available for the applications available on Mimic PC. Finally, you'll also have a tab for your favorites. Now you can click up here to close the side panel. Now, as you can see, we have a larger space for our workflow. Now here we have our Comfy UI workflow. Now this method is for those that have already downloaded the Flux One model to their computer. On the right hand side panel, you'll see the Comfy UI management interface. Next, click on the load option. So this will allow you to upload the model directly to your Comfy UI workflow. Once that is done, you can go ahead and run the model. Now, I'm personally not going to use that method because there's a much simpler way to do this. And that is to run the Flux model directly. Now, I'm going to leave a link for that in the description. Alternatively, you can come over to the Tutorials Hub and click on it. Next, navigate to the one on running Flux on Mimic PC, then click on it. Now, scroll all the way down to the third step. Next, go ahead and click on this share link and it will take you directly to this page. Next, you can go ahead and click on this apply button. Next, you'll be prompted to choose your settings just like we did earlier. Again, you're going to choose the settings. So I'm going to choose the hardware and for this, I'll choose large pro again. Next, you're going to choose the mission time. So I'm just going to input one hour, 30 minutes. Now I'll just leave the rest as they are. Now I'm going to go to the very bottom and next I'm going to click on create and start. So again, this is just going to start setting up my workflow. So we'll just go ahead and give this a couple of minutes. So our workflow is now ready. As you can see, everything has already been set up for us. We actually do not need to do anything. All we need to do is just to go ahead and start generating our images. Before we do that though, let me just show you a few things. As you can see, we have our models over here. So right here, you can choose between Flux Dev and Flux Schnell. Next up, we have our prompt area. So let me just zoom this a little bit. So this is where you're going to input your prompt. Next, you can go ahead and adjust the size of your image right here. So you can adjust the width right here. So you can input the value that you want, then press OK. And you can do the very same thing for the height. 
Next, you can choose the batch size. Now, these are the number of images that you'll get per generation. So you can input the number that you want and press OK. Down here, we have the seed number. You can go ahead and change that if you like. We also have the sampler. We also have the sampling steps and all that. So basically, you can see how the entire workflow is. Everything has already been set up. You can see how all the nodes have been set up and how they are interconnected with each other. So basically, you really don't need to add any more nodes or anything. The entire workflow is complete as it is. So now I'm going to input my prompt over here. And next, I'm going to choose the model that I want. And I'm going to choose Schnell. Next, I can change the sizes of my images. But I'm OK with the size that is there, that is square. And I can also change the batch size. And I'm going to input one for this. So once all that is done, I'll go to the very top. And I'm going to click on Q prompt. So you can see how the image generation is just going through the entire workflow. And I actually did not fast forward anything. The image generation process has just been so fast. So now let's go ahead and see the image that has been generated. So here is our image. You can see the level of clarity and details in the image. Like this is so good. So let's go ahead and generate a different type of image. So I'm going to input another prompt over here. And I'm just going to generate with the same settings, with the same model. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit on Q prompt as well. So you can just follow along the workflow as the image is being generated. So again, in a few short minutes, our image is ready. So let's go ahead and look at this one. You can see just like the first one, the image is so very well detailed. It's very clear. The quality is just so good. So now let's go ahead and generate an image of a person. So let's see if we can get the same kind of quality with this image of a person. So there we have our prompt. Next, I'm going to click on Q prompt. And once that is done, our image is actually ready. I had to fast forward just not to be monotonous about this. So you can see the image of our girl like this is so good. Let me just zoom it out for you to see well. So you can see the quality of this image, like it has not been upscaled. I have not done anything to it. And you can see the level of details in it. So this is actually really, really good. Now let's see the kind of image we get with a prompt that calls for an oil painting. So I'm going to input my prompt over here. It's very detailed. And again, here we have our image. Let's just see how this turned out as well. So this is supposed to be an oil painting. And as you can see, it's just fabulous. Like this is really, really good. So again, let me just zoom this out for you so that you can see well. So you can see the details in this image. Like this is just so good. So I've generated a few other images in the same way, the same exact procedure. So let me just show you another image that I've been able to generate. So this is the image of a girl. You can see the details in her face, her eyes, the hair, like the details are just so crisp. The image is just so very clear and well detailed. So I decided to use one of the prompts from Mimic PC just to see if I could recreate an image. So here is the image that I was able to get with the same exact prompt as them. So let me just show you the image. So you can see how clear and detailed this image is. So let me just show you the image that I was recreating. So here is the image from Mimic PC. I just took the prompt and recreated with it. So you can see how beautiful this image is. Once you've generated your images, downloading them is really simple. All you need to do is go back to the Files tab. And in the Output folder, you'll find all the images that you've generated. Next, click on this button over here and you'll see an option to download your images. Now click on the Download button and your image will be downloaded directly to your PC. Before I wrap this up, let me just mention that Comfy UI has been updated to its latest model on Mimic PC. And with that, you can access the Flux NF4 model. Now, I'm going to leave the link to that in the description and you can access the workflow directly. So once you're here again, all you need to do is click on Apply. Then once that is done, you can go ahead and choose the settings that you want to choose. You can go ahead and choose your hardware. Next, you can go ahead and choose the mission time as well. And after that, all you need to do is click on create and start. So once that is done, this is just going to go ahead and load your workflow. And after that, you can just go ahead and start creating your images. So with this, it's just as simple as the workflow that I've shown you before. You can go ahead and choose your model. So here are the models that are available. 
as you can see with this you can go ahead and choose from any of the available flux models and here you can see we have the nf4 models so you can go ahead and choose any of these next you can go ahead and input your prompt over here in the prompt box and after that you can go ahead and choose the settings that you want you can choose the width and the height of your image as well as the batch size then click ok now the rest of the settings are just here you can see the sampler the sampling steps and all that so once you've done all that all you need to do is just go ahead and click on q prompt again this is just going to start creating your images again you can see the image creation process in the workflow step by step and finally we have our image so I'll just go ahead and leave all the links to all these workflows in the description box. Now that's how easy it is to use Flux in Comfy UI without the headache of downloading anything or installing anything or even creating your own workflow. You can go ahead and try Mimic PC. I'll leave all the necessary links in the description box below. You can get started for absolutely free and if you decide to be a subscriber, you can get started for as low as 50 cents an hour. If you have any questions or you need clarification on anything, you can go ahead and put it in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.